So the combined federal campaign is the way that federal employees are able to uh, to solicit in the workspace. You know, for many, many years, all of the independent agencies would, would walk around um, and allow nonprofits to come in across the government. Uh, very disruptive, wasn't synchronized. You know, they'd get little bits, but there wasn't a whole lot of bang for the buck. So back in the 60s, I think President Kennedy was the one who decided, hey, let's Let's try and bring these together and combine some of these campaigns. They did that for about 10 years. And then in the 70s, uh, President Nixon uh, decided that he would unify it all into a singular combined federal campaign. And what they what they found is donations were higher. There was more participation. Folks can align against particular time frames to come in and do that. And I think today there's over 20,000 uh, nonprofits that participate as part of the combined federal campaign. It's the only time that within the workplace uh, we ask federal employees to uh, to give to the nonprofits um, in in their communities. Now, if you are not a uh, federal um, employee, is it possible to give to your favorite CFC uh, components such as us with the code of 10386? So the, the <laughs> code that we have that, that uh, Nick gave, thank you, Nick, uh, 10386, uh, is the method that you connect in if you are a federal employee. So you dial into your, into your federal pay system for, for uh, a service member. For me, it would have been my pay is where I did that and I was well, I could go in there and and make a singular donation or or do it over time the old paper forms where you used to have a CFC coordinator in your unit who would walk around and make sure that we made 100% contact you know we couldn't uh, force folks to donate but we we could ask to to make to make that contact if you're not part of the federal government like I am now then you have to find those other methods to figure out how to do that you know, you have to work with each individual nonprofit and, and mail a check or find their website or do those connections. Uh, for anyone that's listening to this that is not part of the federal government, if you go to millcyber.org, there's a little uh, pull down there and there is a way to donate if you would like to help further the aims of the Military Cyber Professionals Association. I, I'm pretty excited about what we do. You know, living out here in Billings, Montana, um, I recognize that STEM isn't always the, the chosen course curriculum that students take. And I think one of the great things that we do, that money that, that goes uh, to MCPA through CFC uh, helps enable STEM education. That's the part that I'm most excited about um, and how it could impact our, our communities.